Thank you guys. Thank you for watching again. Yonkers Voice with you and Cicely Graves. Cicely, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for taking the time. And to do, today we have a very interesting subject. Very. Okay. It is interesting because I strongly feel that actions, not words, mm -hmm. is what matter. Exactly. And our subject today is God. Who is God? I have no idea. Okay. I personally believe in a creator and I have an image that I believe in. Okay. Not necessarily mm -hmm. the same as you or others exactly. might, might see it. Mm -hmm. But that is a very, a very important factor because regardless of who I believe in or what I believe in, mm -hmm. that is a common denominator. There is. Peace. Mm -hmm. Creator, love, kindness, care. Right. Do we agree so far? Oh, I tell you all the way so far. <laughs> so, uh, Cicely, you do a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And uh, for what I hear, you have talked about this subject in the past. Yes. Tell us who or what is God to you? So, I have to say, I was on that journey of looking for God. And so that journey uh, ended about, I think, six years ago when I found who God was. And that finding God, who God was, was through my practice of Raj Yoga meditation. So Raj means king or royal and yoga means union. So that's what yoga means. It's not yoga of the body or anything like that. It's a completely different thing. That's Hatha Yoga. So in that journey, I really got to know who God was. Like you said, you have your own image, so you will connect to God in that way. To me, God is beyond name and form. So God is energy. So what does that mean? As you said, whatever it is that you believe in, whether it be Christianity, whether it be Buddhism, that image to you will be God, or it will be a messenger of God, such as in Islam, they have, um, you know, Muhammad as their prophet. So all religions have different aspects of who God is. But God is truly beyond name and form. That's it. So what divides us is when we start getting into the different religions. I belong to Christianity. I belong to Buddhism. That's what separates us. But as you said, if we truly are children of God, then we would understand that he's not all of those things. That's impossible. And it, he can only be beyond name and form. And that's it. So that beyond name and form, somebody else might see it as a point of light. You know, I agree. God mm -hmm. is energy. God, is, God energy. is energy. Right. Uh, but uh, I, don't, I don't know what, if I should say this, but mm -hmm. unfortunately, humankind we create a definition yes okay for that creator mm -hmm. but sometimes we create a definition but we do not work or conduct our lives exactly. within the that de 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 definition mm -hmm. of who each one of us right i don't mean you or me i'm talking sure, about in general terms mm -hmm. of who god really wants mm -hmm. i heard somebody once say to me i don't have a problem with god when he mentioned God, was in the context of the Roman Catholic God, sure. Father of Jesus. Mm -hmm. He said, I have no problem with Christians, with God. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with, with God. I have a problem with Christians. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And we can take Christians out of context here. We sure. don't mean that Christian. What he meant is, the problem was not with the Creator. The problem was with the followers mm -hmm. of that creator because they might say one thing and conduct their lives totally different. Sure. So I tell people all the time, don't tell me how much you love God. I really don't care about your words. Mm -hmm. I care about your actions. That's right. Conduct your life in the best possible way in according to God's teaching. Mm -hmm. I know that we cannot be perfect. We cannot be perfect. We know that we cannot do exactly as God wants us to be. Mm -hmm. Realize that. Right. But we can at least try. When I see people that 
I love God and I love this and I do that. Take offense if somebody does something. Exactly. Let me tell you something, Cicely. I know so many people mm -hmm. that will not talk about how much they love God, but everything they do mm -hmm. is according to what God would want them to do. That's right. And I see so many people who love, say they love God, mm -hmm. but they do nothing in according to what God would like them to do. So, you know, Ru, you said in the beginning that in regards to what God is, you know, beyond name and form, there are qualities of God. And so you said love, peace. That's God That's in its God. essence. So if you're not behaving in a loveful way or a peaceful way, how can you love God? Because you don't love yourself. You have to love yourself first before you can love God and love the next person. Ru, you may go out there and do something and say, I, don't, I may not like what you're doing, but at the end of the day, if I truly love myself and love God, whatever you do is what you do, and I must not judge it. Because would God judge me? Would he judge you? No. Talking about judge, the scales of justice. No. He would not judge either one of us. So if I really truly want to live my life in a godly manner, in a divinely manner, I will not judge you. Because then we become children of God. No conflict. <laughs> you know, as we was talking earlier, it's like you're going to do your thing. You're going to do you. I may not agree with what you do, but I have to respect it. Not agree with it, but respect it. That's what unites us. So there's many things going on in the world right now, right? Lots of upheaval, lots of situations. So as long as I'm not judging it and looking at it from a place of love, then there's no conflict within me. There's no conflict in how I live my life in that godly, divinely way, or how I live my life in regards as it relates to you. Do you believe, uh, Cicely, that mm -hmm. God believes within and not without? God is That within. energy. Energy is within. So it's not this physical thing. Right, right. Because what happens with this physical body? What happens in different religions? What do they say about that? They say the body goes dust to dust, right? So we know that this physical form is only temporary. We don't get to keep this. And so we spoke about this. I believe in rebirth. So do I. I believe in Reincarnation. We don't just come and stay the one time. We take many births. And how, someone might say, what is she talking about? What do you mean many births? So I would have had to have an experience, right? So I've had an experience of a previous birth. They're documented scientific um, experiments and children who have experienced and others who have experienced that other birth. And so whatever part we have to play here, we have to respect that part and understand it. But I don't have to agree with it. But I won't curse you. Right. You know, Cicely, where, uh, where I come from, mm -hmm. we uh, strongly believe in reincarnation Lovely. and the purpose of reincarnation according to us mm -hmm. is that your soul comes into your body that's right for purification to yes, purify that's right absolutely and you will re reincarnate as many times as necessary until your soul reaches that Purity that or purity, energy that, that you no longer exactly. need to come back. Exactly. I have an experience. This is something that uh, I remember of myself mm -hmm. since I remember myself. Right. I remember how I passed mm. in the prior life. How lovely. Okay. Don't remember much, mm -hmm. but I remember that I was from some of uh, this one of these Middle Eastern countries, mm. going in the mountains with some mules. Mm -hmm. I remember me dressed in a turban with Isn't turban. Lovely, yes. And I remember some rocks coming down, mm -hmm. hitting my mule, right. and I went down with the mule. Mm -hmm. That's all that I have. Right. Was it just a dream from childhood that stayed with me? Mm -hmm. I, I have no idea. Right. Okay. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But I remember be telling my parents since very little right. about this, and they tell me, Rue, it's just a dream. <laughs> It's just a dream. Right. Well, right, right. maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. What do we tell people when they fight? No, not fight, they argue. Look, I run Yonka's Voice for many years. Mm -hmm. And my job there 
is to agree today, disagree. You say something, I said something. Mm -hmm. I always try to be the other side of what you say mm -hmm. in order to create conversation. Sure. But uh, the topic of God is a topic that it's very complex, <laughs> okay? Because it's interesting that people who claim to believe in God, mm -hmm. they take of offense they do. when you say, mm, I don't think God exists. Mm -hmm. If I'm a really follower of God, mm -hmm. regardless of who that God, that God is, right. what I would do mm -hmm. when somebody tells me God doesn't exist mm -hmm. is to take that opportunity to give him a few things that he can take away, digest, exactly. and maybe when he's told me myself, you know what, Vru was right. Yes, yes. Maybe Ru was able to click that switch mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that made me see things in a different way. Right. I think that those that take this very personal are really people without too much, how would I say without offending people? I'm a very blunt. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I don't look, I, I just say it. Okay. Those are people that don't have much probably education or know the subject well. Mm -hmm. And they cannot explain. Right. Then they cop out. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to you about this. Mm -hmm. You, you, what you're doing is blasphemy. No, it's not blasphemy. It's blasphemy no. mm -hmm. I'm asking questions. It's not the conversation is not between me and you. Right. Maybe if I put God's down, you know, in doubt, mm -hmm. maybe you won't be able to convince me. Right. But guess what? There is thousands of others watching that conversation, mm -hmm. and you might be able to. Connect, to that, connect yes. to that audience and change somebody's mind. I'm telling you, oh, you don't know who's watching. And people tell me, you know, oh, like they say, oh, I finally get to meet you. Everything you say is positive. And I love what you have to say. And I'm like, wow, you know, they may not say anything on Facebook, but it makes them think. So I agree with you. It's good to put those nuggets out there for a person to really begin to sit with that information so that they can delve into it themselves and really come to that conclusion of what God is, what a situation is. So I like that, that you do that, you know, Rue, because it's important to wake up the intellect because the intellect has been sleeping for a long, long time. So it's now time for the intellect to wake up and see the truth is in front of us. Exactly. It, and you know, uh, the Creator, mm -hmm. He created us. He gave us a brain, didn't That's He? That's right. He didn't, if He wanted us not to question anything, <laughs> He would made us in a particular mindset, this is it. Right. But He gave you a mind mm -hmm. to be inquisitive. That's right. About the things that around you. Mm -hmm. Ask questions. That's right. Okay. Asking, understand. Understand. Asking mm -hmm. a question is not working against right. God. Mm -hmm. Okay, is just trying to understand certain things mm -hmm. or trying to make others understand certain things right. by the way you ask. Because you know what I want to say to you, Aru, is that I've had Christians come to me and say, you know, when I share about what my practice is, they say, I don't want to hear that because I don't even believe in Christianity. But and those are Christians. And they go into church every day. You see, Every Sunday they're in church. But they yet, they do not understand Christianity. They don't understand the whole aspect of the Christ soul and the Christ soul role. Because some will say Christ is God. But then another Christian will say Christ is just the messenger. So there's that conflict. So how can there be a deep and true understanding if there's that conflict going on? So what? So who is the Christ soul? What is his role when it relates to God? We know it says, he is a child of God. So are you, and so am I. It's plain and simple. He's not God. So I guess my friend was right in a way. He doesn't have a problem with Christianity. He has a problem with the hypocrisy of the Christians. Right. Because, of course, mm -hmm. we not talk about all. We talk about, in general terms, mm -hmm. some. In general terms. We're not saying all Christians are these or not all Christians all. are that. Not That's not all. what we mean. Not to judge, but just I'm saying based on what I've heard and conversations that I've heard, that's how I'm sharing. I'm not saying that all Christians believe that, but you get these conflicting stories. And it's like, but really, are you understanding? And that's where the intellect becomes lazy, Rue. Um, in regards to what one wants to really believe in, 
they go they go to sleep the brain goes to sleep the intellect goes to sleep so it's time to wake up the intellect and really see what's in front of us keyword time to wake up the intellect time to ask questions it's okay fanatism it's not okay don't be a fanatic of what you right, believe right, right and with that we're going to take a short break God is energy. God is everything. We are energy. That's right. We are responsible for the things that are happening one way or the other. One way or the other, we are responsible. Maybe we don't, we don't understand mm -hmm. what's going on. Exactly. What have we done? What has that child done to deserve this? Well, mm -hmm. that child, according to me and my beliefs, that child is a reincarnation of a pride life. Right. We don't know what that life or that spirit did in the pride exactly. life. Exactly. We have no idea. Mm -hmm. Maybe that child that just died only needed a few minutes of a human life to purify his soul. Mm -hmm. He come, he did his thing, mm -hmm. and he said goodbye, I will see you in the energy world up there. <laughs> How beautiful. Yeah. I wouldn't have said it any better myself. Exactly. And so it may, may, it may get some people upset about that, but it's okay. And as we were talking, it doesn't matter whatever someone says or believe in, I will never be upset with them because it's energy. So if my thoughts and my words and my deeds are upset and angry, all it does is it acts like a boomerang it comes back to me so my consciousness shows me i'm not supposed to do that so even if you do something wrong or anybody does anything horrific i can't curse them because there is that thing called karma and those souls that you talk about that reincarnate and come back they have to face whatever karma they've done through those previous births so even though it's hard like you said that child may come and just live for a few moments and have to leave but it's based on the individual karma. It's not a terrible thing. They get to live that life again. The soul is eternal and immortal like our Father, that divine being, that supreme being. So we're identical. So when people say, oh, in the image of God, that's the true image of God, energy, whether it be a point of light, but not a physical form. God cannot be a physical form because he doesn't take birth like us. He so takes it, a special birth, so a it, not even a birth, a reincarnation. So it's impossible to put a, a figure, a physical figure to God. God right, is there. Right, right. How does he look like? I have no idea. Like you said in the beginning, it's based on your interpretation of what God is. You'll see that image in Hindu uh, religion. Some may say Hanuman, the elephant face, as their God. It's okay. They may say, um, you know, Hanuman, sorry, is the monkey face. They may see Ganesh, which is the elephant. And so that to them is their God. So they will get a vision of that. But that can't be God. That's what separates us. I see the image of Christ as my God. I see, you know, whoever, the different religions as my God. That's what divides us. That's what makes us so different and this is why there's so many quarrels and arguments and dividing because of the different consciousness and awareness of who god truly is but if i say god is beyond name and form you and i are together we're one we're brothers we're brother soul because the soul has no gender I we are brother souls, we're brother souls. Mm. so guys i think that in my opinion and I'm not in by no way saying that I am correct. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about my opinion. Your, your reality. My your reality, truth. my your truth, truth, okay, my beliefs, mm -hmm. is that we should not put too much emphasis in how God looks like. 
because exactly. you don't know, I don't know. That's it. We cannot validate that. We no. cannot certify how it looks. <laughs> but none of us can. None of us can. Uh. But one thing that we all can do is uh, identify what, or you know, that God mm -hmm. or that light or that that energy, that energy would like us to conduct our lives. How, how would God like us to conduct our lives? Okay. What do you think, Ru? What do you think? How would like, you like us to conduct our life? You've talked about it a bit in regards to living a virtuous life, right? I have. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have, uh, and I think that God wants us to do what we think is best. Right. Sometimes what we think is best mm -hmm. is not the correct thing to do. Exactly. Okay. So when we do something like that, if it's the wrong thing to do, mm -hmm. and we keep doing the wrong thing, thinking that is the right thing to do, mm -hmm. we are still going to be reincarnating more times That's right. to purify to the wrongs right. until we get it right. <laughs> okay. Until we get it right. Yes. I conduct my life in the best way I can. I do things that I wish to be done to me, mm -hmm. okay? I don't help everybody, but I help those that I can, right. okay? I try to put a smile on somebody's lives, mm -hmm. and I possibly can. Right. Do I make everybody happy with the things that I do? No. No. Does anyone make no. everybody happy Absolutely with the way not. that, the things Absolutely that they do? Absolutely not. But I can tell you, Cicely, that I don't do nothing out of spite. Good. I don't do nothing to hurt people. Okay, if I do something that might hurt you, it was not was your not intention. intention. It's the intention. I right. didn't intend to hurt you. That's important. The okay. intention. It was mm -hmm. not with the intention of hurting. Right. You. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do things due to karma, energy. I don't know. I don't have the explanation. Mm -hmm. But it does not come out right. as we intended right. to come out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things happen. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so the intent is always the things that will, is always the thing that will set you free from anything. Like you said, you may do something and someone may get upset by it. But as long as your intention was to not ex upset that person, then you're free and clear. Yeah. It's the I, intention. I'll give you a good example. The mm -hmm. reason why you and I are sitting here talking in front of this camera today mm -hmm was because of a topic yeah. that we, I posted on a Yonkers Voice Central mm -hmm. about Puerto Rico. Right. What did the people of Puerto Rico do to deserve this from God? Right. A handful of people did not like my topic and they took it very offensive. Right. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But the majority of people understood. Mm, that's Be good. Because of that topic, mm -hmm. we sent a team of people that worked with us and us with them, we, they went to Puerto Rico. Right. We got 12 doctors that offer to do surgery mm. at no charge at the military hospital in Puerto Rico. Very good. We got money for the people of Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. We are going back on the 24th to Puerto Rico to continue helping the people of Puerto Rico. Excellent. So even though five people who, five or six or whatever, mm -hmm. who took very offensive, right. my few words, mm -hmm. those that have not done much, right. but those that put the question on their mind mm -hmm. about God, have done a lot, okay? Not necessarily me, but Alberto Velasquez, who was there, boots on the ground, helping, talking to doctors, has done wonderful things. Excellent. Actions count, not words. That's right. Okay? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, when we meet that Creator, He's not <laughs> going to judge us by how many times we said we loved Him. That's right. He's going to judge us by Ooh, our, our actions. Yes, right. and karma. That's and what karma, karma means. What did you Action. do besides saying to mm -hmm. others that you loved me? What did you what do? What did you do? So the register will be yeah. there, right? That invoice <laughs> will come sooner <laughs> or later. <laughs> it will come. I like that. That invoice will come. That Show me. Show me. It's right here. Don't tell me. Show me. Right. That's what matters mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I've seen a lot of people that believe they believe in Jesus, which it's okay. I'm That's not condemning. Fine. It's no. perfectly fine. That's right. They believe in God, you know, uh, in according to whatever, you know, their religion. Right. It's mm -hmm. perfectly fine. 
Nobody's here to judge that. But it's most important to put actions to your words. That's right. Don't tell me, show me. Mm -hmm. Now, Cicely, I know that you have a, a station, a radio or television? A television. Television show. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Tell me, tell us how can we watch you? Yeah. Where are you? You're the social platform. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the, your mission statement. Right. So this, this, the name of the show is Give and Take, The Virtues in Life. And so what I do is, what some of what you're saying is I invite people to come on the show to talk about what they're doing in a virtuous manner. So what they're doing for themselves, which is important, and also sharing with others. Like I've had some guests in the past, like my mother was in a nursing home and I had them come because they really took care of my mother very well. And so that was an action of being virtuous. So while she was there, they gave her happiness, they made her feel peaceful and all those things. So anyone that's doing as such as what you're doing in regards to going to Puerto Rico and doing things and, and basically um, doing things that are virtuous, things that God God's energy, God's love, God's peace. Those are the things that I have people come on and talk about. So it shows on, it's LMC TV. So it shows on uh, Verizon and all that, you know, which just the wide. And also I put it on all of social media. It's called Give and Take the Virtues in Life. Give and, and take the virtues of life, right? Yeah, the virtues in life. In yes, life. Give and take the virtues in life. And I also have a, um, a business called Regard for Virtues, and I do coaching. So life coaching, development, all those kinds of things. I do lectures, classes, teaching. And so just basically showing people who they are, understanding the self, and how you re relate to others. And they really do very well, and they enjoy it. And they change the way that they live their life because they get it, they you know, understand you it. You know, Cicely, yes. I, know, I know so many people that they don't know themselves. They don't. You need to know who you are. That's right. Okay, You need to be the change that you want to see. In others. In others, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, tons of people, oh, I want this, I want that. This should be this way, this should be that way. You should do this, you should that. What have you done? <laughs> you lost your favorite thing, yeah. right? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> what have you done? Right. You know, very often, Cicely, I talk about the things that I have done. And I ask people, what have you done for me lately, baby? <laughs> well, I'm not the bragger like you. Mm. I say, look, I'm not bragging. I'm just trying to be contagious. I like that, because okay. sometimes I feel that, like people think, like, why is she saying this and all that? No, you just want it to be contagious. Exactly. It's not bragging. I'm not bragging. Right. I'm trying to be contagious. I'm trying to talk I to like other people, that. because if Cicely and I mm -hmm. work together and we go out, out, out there, for the sake of a better term, mm -hmm. we go out there and we help the homeless, right. or we go there and visit uh, mm -hmm. people in jail that don't have a person, or sick people in the hospital, and right. we're able to visit, let's say, 10 people on a weekend. Mm -hmm. If I'm able to be contagious of what I'm doing, right. maybe next weekend we can visit 20. Exactly. And if we can be more contagious, mm -hmm. in a month we can visit 100. Mm -hmm. So, bread So about. that contagious is also energy. So it's building like, like I was you know, saying earlier about how the Buntu, Buntu means I am because we are. So once we understand I am because we are, then collectively we can go out there and work with the homeless. Not bragging, but being contagious, because it becomes an influx of energy. Wow, I feel that. What he's doing, what she's doing, I want to do too. Exactly. So it's not bragging. It's being contagious of love. <laughs> love is a beautiful thing to be contagious about. Right. On that note, I thank you for watching us. Thank you for having me. We love to help the community. We help to do things for the community. We love to have people like Cicely Graves here so we can discuss and talk about things that many okay, refuse to talk about and many actually get offense, offended by those mm -hmm. things. But our intent is not to offend. No. It's just to open the channel of conversation to understand things a little better. When you and I debate, Maybe I'm not able to change your point of view. Maybe you're not able to change my point of view. But what stops us from changing her point of view based on what she hears? Until next time.